This is a short tutorial on uploading your labs to CS Unix. In this tutorial, we're going to look at two programs, PuTTY and WinSCP. This is the basic layout. Each student has their own Unix account on CS Unix. Over here, I kind of diagrammed what it would look like. We have a home directory, which is where you land upon logging in initially. And then you have a public area for placing web pages that you want the world to see. And then you have a private area where you're gonna put your labs. And the difference between the public and this private area is that you need a web password to access the private pages. The browser itself actually asks for that password. So here we have CS Unix. This is CS Unix's name. And as I mentioned, we have two passwords. Password number one is your entry into CS Unix. That gets you in the front door and you land in the home area. Uh, it's accomplished by typing in your student number and this a password that you made uh, in PuTTY. Password number two is, asked, is a password that Chrome or your browser asks you. And this is asked every time you go into an area that uh, pages that might be in this private area right here. And this password's going to stay static at your birthday. I'll talk about changing that password at a later date. Next, um, we're going to take a look at the PuTTY program. So the PuTTY program is on the lab computers, and it's a, essentially a Telnet program. It allows you, it's like do, a DOS CMD command. It allows you to navigate through your Unix command, your Unix account. So the first thing you do is put in your um, put in your uh, csunix.mohacollege.ca port 22 ssh, and upon the first time you won't see it down here. You'll have to save the session. So once you've done that, um, this is going to allow you to type in the passwd command which will allow you to change password number one. After, as soon as you've uh, changed password number one, you can log out of PuTTY. We're not going to be needing PuTTY again. The next program is called WinSCP. This is the one you're going to use often. So now for logging in the first time, you type the host name, csunix.mohacollege.ca, port 22, your student number, and the password that you just made, your password number one. Also, too, if you save the session, um, you won't have to do that next time. How, however, on the lab computers, it's not a good idea to save the session. But on your home computer, you can. Now, when you get into WinSCP, the left side are the files on your local system. So the computer you're on right now, you can navigate around and find whatever files you want to migrate to CS Unix. The right side are your CS Unix files. And you've landed here in what we call the home, your home directory, which is the blue area right here. This directory, public.html, if you double click on that, you'll go into the public area. And any files you put into this public area will be able to be seen by the world. Any files in the private area, of course, you need the web password. So now I've, I've double clicked on the uh, public.html and I'm, I'm now in that area. And I don't have any files here, but if I put, for example, in class, we put the cat right in here. And uh, that's why we were able to see the cat without any passwords. Now, when you're setting up your private area, uh, if you double click on that, um, these are the URLs that are going to be applicable um, for your private area and public area. The first thing is this URL here will look for a file called index.html within your public directory. And if it finds it, it will return that page, whatever index.html is. The next URL is a little more involved. Um, so in the public area, there could be a solar system directory, and then the first file might be universe.htm. And again, this would find that file and render it. This is the, um, the private area. Once you click on this, the computer will be looking for index.html within this private area. But first, a web password, password number two, will be asked of you. 
Now we're going to make the first file in the private area called index.html. It's going to look like this. This will be a table of contents of our labs. Each lab will be linked and upon clicking that you'll be able to see the contents of the lab. This is a, a layout of how you're going to set up your CS Unix account. Um, we're not going to be as far as the course goes, putting anything in the public area. So all of our files are going to be going into the private area. And the first file right here, index.html, this is your table of contents file. So it looks like this. This file right here is the one that uh, will bring up the table of contents. Then you're going to have subdirectories, um, lab one, lab two, all the way down to lab six. And each one of your labs, the first file, will be index.html. And that's how your uh, system will be laid out. So the purple are directories and the red are files. So for the labs, this is the URL the instructor will use to find your labs. Notice the tilde sign, not a hyphen. And because this directory contains an index.html, your table of contents will come up if this is uh, given and you have the right login credentials for, for password number two. So index.html will live in the private folder and contain your table of contents files. And then the rest of the folders will be labs one to six. And each lab will contain an index.html file and can be reached with this URL. So if you use this URL, it would bring up the mango assignment. This is what the instructor will use. This is what you've got to get working. If this URL works anywhere in the world, of course, it will ask for your pass web2 password, the password2 web password, then you're on the right track. OK, let's have a look at how to maintain your table of contents and place lab1 to CS Unix. So the first thing that I'm going to do is have a look at my D drive. And under my name, Dave, I've got lab one here, and I've got my table of contents. If we double click on my table of contents, it looks like this. Uh, all the links uh, appear, but they all are inactive at the moment. The lab one, it has the Mango Lab right here, and it's got an images directory with the Mango Lab inside it. Um, now, one of the things that I really like is to have the start file, in this case, mango.html, change to index.html. That'll make the URL shorter, as you'll see uh, in a minute, because index is a special file name for web servers, such that if it appears, then you don't need to specify it in the URL. You can just specify the folder it lives in, which is lab1. So if we go back here, um, and take a look first. Uh, so I've, I've changed my lab one to index.html. Um, and if I go back here and edit my table of contents, I can put in my URL now. And I can just say lab one. Now, if I hadn't have changed it to index.html and left it as mangoes.html, I would have to say mangoes dot html uh, and it would be a little bit longer but if i just uh have it called index.html i can get away with this uh the sharp sign or the pound sign just means the current document and it's just placed in here as a placeholder so if i save that um we're, we're ready now to send the table of contents file which is this one up to cs unix and then also the lab so if we open uh, WinSCP and click on um, the uh, login button, we end up kind of in no man's land here. If we double click on this public.html, this is the web. So this would be the public area. It wouldn't require a password to see any files in there. But our labs and the table of contents file will live in private. So in this private area here, I'm going to go into my Dave subdirectory. I'm going to copy my table of contents over first, and then I'm going to copy my 
lab. Now, sliding this lab directory over, it will copy all the files uh, underneath. Also, too, uh, I can press this button right up here and, you know, make room for my lab 2. Or I could, I could go new directory and say lab 3. Uh, this button's a little faster, lab 4. lab five and finally lab six so these labs are going to the folders will be empty except for lab one if we double click on lab one we can see our first lab in here and again the start file is index.html now let's see if this is all working so if we go to our um, chrome so I'm going to put my URL in here. And for you, it will be your student number instead of your last name. And just the word private uh, without the index.html. If I hit enter, I'm asked for my, uh, because this is the private area, I have to authenticate. So you put your student number there and your web2 password, which would be the uh, year, month, and day of your birthday. And so once you do that and say, OK, if you've got it correct, your table of contents comes up with this URL. Now, also, too, if you click on lab one, the mango lab comes up. And to change the size here, all I'm doing is holding control and the wheel on the mouse, changing that. So that's how you send up a lab to CS Unix.